Hi, I've been asked to do an updated skincare video, my skincare sort of routine. So I already did a video about this a couple of years ago, which I'm going to link to. It was in two parts. One was sort of cleansers and one was kind of exfoliators and masks and things. So I'm going to link to those simply because my philosophy hasn't changed at all. Some of the products I'm using have changed, but in general, I'd say that the philosophy is exactly the same. So products that I'm using now um, to suit my skin, and again, if you want to know more about sort of, because I used to have acne, and um, if you want to know more about my particular skin, then definitely check out the, the previous videos that I made. So for cleansing, I still have the philosophy that I don't like to spend a lot of money on cleansers because I feel like they only stay on the skin very briefly so they can't really do anything apart from take your makeup off and as long as they're a gentle and be effective I don't see the point of spending 50 quid on a cleanser unless it does other things so I generally still use a kind of water like a bioderma or La Roche-Posay for taking off colorful makeup so if I've got a red lip on or if I've got eye makeup on I would use that first I don't use a waterproof mascara myself so I find that these are fine just to take off eye makeup and lip makeup and then I'll use something very very gentle like um, a lotion all of my favorites are actually in the previous video and I still use the same one so um, just to take off the makeup the only time I use an expensive cleanser is when I use a cleansing balm and I like the Eve Long one and I've used this a lot the last couple of years as a kind of treatment so I'll use it about twice a week usually when I know I've got a lot of time to do a special cleanse and what that would entail is more of a massage so if I'm in in the evening I will start that maybe while I'm watching television or quite a long time before I go to bed really pin all my hair back and do more of a massage so really kind of lymph drainage massage really sort of working around my eyes draining any puffiness working into the cheeks again sort of lots of lifting around the jawline maybe I'll do a video about that another time the kind of massage I do and then I'll use the cloth that comes with it. That way you're sort of exfoliating as well because obviously the cloth is quite rough and the cleanser is quite grainy as well, but not in a sort of scrubby way, in a sort of soft, soft way. Then with the second cleanse that I do with this, I really do about a 20 minute massage, which I know sounds a bit over the top, but as I say, I only do it twice a week and I believe that it keeps you looking young. Massaging the skin for me is the best thing that you can ever do. I was actually brought up by a mother that used to massage her skin all the time and I used to think it was really strange when she'd be sort of sitting there sort of massaging her skin at night and now she's 70 and looks incredibly young so I tend to think that it just helps to keep the circulation going, it's draining all the lymph out of the skin and as long as you're quite gentle with it but firm you can really sort of notice the difference after you've done a really good facial massage and I don't get time to go for facials very often so by doing that twice a week I kind of feel like I basically do my own facials at home so that's something that although it's very expensive I definitely find it lasts a long time and two years in I am really enjoying using it and feel like um I'm really doing something good for my skin, although a lot of it is basically the work that I put in and the time that I put in with it. So in terms of exfoliation, my philosophy still hasn't changed. I don't use face scrubs, as in the really grainy ones that you feel k -k -k. I just feel like you don't need to. I'd rather use something AHAs and BHAs, which gently lift off the dead skin cells. And because my skin is acnogenic, it's prone to acne, even now, um, I really believe in BHAs um, and lactic acid is the AHA that I really like. So I will use products that contain those ingredients. Mainly I'll do it with a mask, and I know this is boring, but that hasn't changed from the last time I did a video. I still use the Gentle Cream Exfoliant from Dermalogica because it's got lots of lactic acid in. Put that on for 15 minutes a couple of times a week and just rinse off at the end there's no scrubbing whatsoever more recently i've also been using exfoliating pads just because of the convenience really and how quick they can be i've been using the zelens ones and these contain four different aha and bhas it's got the classic salicylic acid bha which 
for my skin is great because it just stops me from getting blocked pores and spots and my favorite lactic acid so really more about convenience than anything else to have a pad and lots of brands make these but just to be able to wipe over and have it done in in two seconds I would only ever do that at night though before I went to bed and again I do that a couple of times a week no more um my skin isn't sensitive really at all, so I'll just make sure that I point that out right now. Um, and I've been using AHAs and BHAs for years in combination with sunscreen, and that's really, really important because it does can make your skin a little more sensitive to the sun. So as with everything, skincare is very much trial and error, and you need to test things out. You need to do patch tests and make sure that you are using formulations that your skin agrees with, because you can be allergic to anything. So the other thing that I've been using for eye cream, I've been using two actually. This one I wrote about in a blog post, because I wrote about natural um, things that you can make in your kitchen like masks and treatments and things. And while I was researching that post, I was looking for an eye cream that had avocado in and ended up buying a Kiehl's one, which to be honest, I wouldn't have really bought normally, but it had a avocado in. And since then, I've really been using this all the time. And I think it's really strengthened the skin underneath my eyes. Definitely use this at night um, because it really nourishes. It's quite creamy um, and gives sort of... Um, it leaves a moisturizing film and I just pat that in. I don't use too much, but I've been using quite, you know, regularly every night, particularly under my eyes. And it's just really helped to strengthen that skin. And I've noticed that this skin, which is starting to get a little bit puffy under here, it's been strengthened. The other one, which I quite like is the Start Over by Sunday Riley. And again, I'm about six months in using this one. This one is more of a daytime one that I use because it's great for depuffing the eyes and it also has licorice and vitamin C so it's good for that dark puffiness that you often get in the morning. Um, what else have I been using? For at night time I still don't like to use heavy creams and things on my skin because it does I'm prone to acne and I've just my philosophy has never been about thick, thick, heavy night creams and things. Um, I prefer serums, light lotions. I don't use oils, although I believe that oils are really good, simply because I've got greasy hair as well. And whenever I use oils at night, I tend to wake up with this kind of section quite greasy on my hair. It's just the way I am. So I tend to avoid using oils at night. But um, I have been using this Paula's Choice Resist. And this, well, I'm actually about to start my second tube of it because I've absolutely loved this product. It's a very light lotion, which isn't shiny. So I've used it night and day and it doesn't give me um, a shiny face. It feels really nice on the skin. It's for all skin types. And it's a product that is sort of multifunction. So it kind of does a bit of everything. It's good for lightening pigmentation. It has azaleic acid, which is good for clearing up spots and stopping you from getting new spots, but in a very gentle way. And um, it just has all the ingredients, which is sort of anti-aging, quite firming. It just does a bit of everything. And I just find it such a pleasure to use. And I've been using it about six months. So, I mean, I think my skin's looking good. I don't know, you're probably the better judges of that because you see me every week in videos. But I feel like it has really helped to kind of keep my pigmentation at bay, particularly last summer. And um, I've just really enjoyed using it. So because I've been using that night and day, I um, have been using this CC cream by Bourjois, which I think you know if you've watched my other videos, which is... F SPF 15 so after I've used the resist I put a thin layer of this all over my skin I think it's enough for now because obviously it's been winter in the UK and we've had no sun really we've just had rain 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 and more rain um, so it's fine but I think once we get into summer proper then I will definitely use more of a more protection on top of that something maybe I'd go up to a 30 on a daily basis just to make sure with sensitivity the only other thing that I definitely do use as part of my skincare routine is hand cream and I use it every night before I go to bed really massage loads in loads into my nails everything 
Uh, the one that I've been using is the Cordelie one, and um, it's the same as all their products, has grapeseed extract, so it's a good antioxidant, any damage that you've had. And um, it's nice because this one is not too greasy, and um, I've almost finished that, actually, I need to get another one. Just massage plenty of that in, really lots, let it sink in, massage it in a little bit more, and I think that's it, I think that's basically everything that I'm using at the moment and um, as I say check out the other video because it will tell you more about my general philosophy and it will give you all the cleansers that I'm still using which the inexpensive cleansers and also my makeup removal video which I'll also link to and um, I just believe in treating my skin quite gently um, I found a routine that works for me which is really just based on exfoliation because my skin is a very lazy exfoliator. If I didn't look after my skin really well with lots of massage, cleansing, exfoliating, which I believe are the sort of key points of skincare, then I would just be puffy and covered in acne. I know that for a fact because if ever I let it slip, I'd get very spotty. Anyway, I hope that was helpful and hope it was interesting and I'll see you soon.